Hallelujah. And God got some great things in store for you now. For you all that have been here and you had hands laid up on you, you had impartations, I want you to be able to keep that. See, because, you know, sometimes we get delivered and then we don't know how to keep it. 99.99% of the reason why we don't know how to keep it is because we don't get in the Word. The reason why we can't keep it is because we don't get no understanding of the Word of God. And then after somebody laid their hands upon you, then you don't want to come back for a month or two. The devil is a lie. That's why you keep going back in bondage. That's why you can't stay delivered. I heard Apostle say the other night, he said, when you leave, when you backslide, the devil, when he go out and he can't find a body to dwell in, because it's illegal for a spirit, a demon, to walk the earth without living in somebody. I didn't say something, I said somebody. The reason why you have the hell on your job is because the devil got in somebody you know. So when he can't go and find anybody to live in, he go back to the old spot he remembers to see if anybody inhabited yet. And guess what, baby? He don't come by himself. If he sees the place empty, he go and get seven more of his friends. Now you got eight demons that's dwelling on the inside of you. Come on, somebody. And then if you get delivered again, and those eight demons leave, and you still not anointed, and God is not dwelling on the inside of you, each one of them demons, eight demons, going to get seven more worse than themselves. So you can see why the man that was in the tomb had a legion of demons because he was possessed by a legion. All you have to do is backslide a few more times. Go home and do the math. Every time you get delivered, you start off with one. Got repossessed. Uh, devil's linked, linked on to you. Oppression, whatever. Suppression. They always have to possess you. Sometimes they just oppress you. Sometimes they just suppress you. Come on. There's a difference between all of them. And every time those demons leave, a man or woman of God pray them off for you. You wonder why you're going a lunatic? It's because every one of those demons went and got seven more worse than themselves. Go home and do the math. Every time you get delivered and those demons leave, they're going to go get seven more. So if you got 14 demons in the beginning that was released off of you, each one of them 14 demons going to go get seven more worse than themselves. See, sometimes we don't really understand the word. We just play with it. But I want you to go home and start doing the math and say, oh my God, I wonder why it took me so long to get back in the presence of God when I got delivered the last time. If you don't Continue to pray. If you don't continue to fast, All right now. you're not going to last. Yeah, no prayer, no power. Little prayer, little power. No, uh, a lot of prayer, a lot of power. And if you don't fast, you won't last. Because, see, the fasting breaks down this mortal beam and say, God, I want to die to the flesh and live unto you. Amen. I'm going somewhere. Amen. I'm going to give a scripture. So while I'm talking, turn to Genesis chapter, chapter 45 and verse 7. That's the first book for some of y'all that don't look at your Bible on a regular basis. Genesis, the first book of the Old Testament. Genesis chapter 45. And when you have it, say amen. amen. If you don't have it, say wait. Oh, ain't nobody going to say that. I feel hear the leaflets of the pages rustling. So I'm going to just wait. 